Welcome back to C of K's Casual College Chats. Today our topic of discussion is going to be scholarships. Um, college, because college is super expensive and it's really important to get all the scholarships you can, as well as fill out the FAFSA, which opens on December 1st. Once you get into certain schools, just talking about Mississippi State right now, smaller scholarships within that school and within your major will start to open. After I got accepted into Mississippi State, I had to fill out three scholarships that were required and that are due December 1st. It was the general scholarship application, which all people accepted into Mississippi State get. And then I had two additional ones that were personalized to me. So the Veteran Center Scholarship, because my dad's a veteran. And then the Interior Design Scholarship, because that's what my major is going to be. And these scholarships were super easy. They were like 10 multiple choice questions and not even like opinion-based questions. They were just like talking about like where you come from and what you plan to do with your major. And then each of those three scholarships probably had three to four written response. And they were only like a 250 word maximum. So they were super easy to complete. So same for me, same for Mississippi State. I haven't finished the general scholarship application yet, honestly, but I know after that I won't have any veteran scholarships like Kylan, but I will have like kinesiology scholarships to fill out and whatnot. Also, after getting accepted into Mississippi State, myself as well as other people that I know automatically got s- um, a $600 like freshman year scholarship or everybody else that I've talked to that got accepted also got that. So that was pretty cool how it's just like an automatic scholarship. And even though it's a little bit amount of money and only for your first year, like any amount of money helps. I would definitely say no matter how small the amount of money is, you should always apply for or like say yes to it because all the small scholarships add up into bigger amounts of money. I applied for scholarships outside of Mississippi State. I I applied for the Unigo scholarship, which it was just asking me one question, would you rather be rich, funny, or smart? And I wrote a short essay on that, and you can win $10,000 for that. And then I also applied for a scholarship through the U.S. Bank, which you can get um, $20,000 from that. And both of those were super easy, and my chances of winning are like one in a thousand because they only pick one winner for like each time frame so two winners a year but you know it's always good to apply and then other big ones that I know a lot of people apply for are the coca-cola scholarship which is twenty thousand dollars and I didn't apply for that because I was too late but even like Burger King, Dr. Pepper, like all these businesses have scholarships and it's really good to just go on any kind of website you can and see what kind of scholarships they offer and even if they only pick um, a winner or two, it's really good to apply for those and just give yourself a chance to win them. Other than businesses, a lot of clubs in high school give out scholarship opportunities as well. I know National English Honor Society, there's a chance for you to write a poem or a short story to win money scholarship-wise. Same with like National Honor Society, Beta Club, they all give out some scholarship opportunities for seniors going into their freshman year of college. Yeah, and I work at Buffalo Wild Wings, and even they offer scholarships, which I don't qualify for because it's only if you're going to school for business. They will actually pay for your entire college if you're going into school for business, which unfortunately that's not what I'm doing. But I think that's really cool. And scholarships are so important because, like we already said, like college is so expensive. And, yes, you fill out the FAFSA in a month, but – For me, for example, my parents make enough money to not qualify to get a lot of money from FAFSA, but they don't make enough money to pay for my college, which sucks being in like the in-between. Yeah, it's really tough to be right in the middle because you don't get money, but you also don't have enough money to pay for all of it in one year. Your demographics play a really big role in how much money you get, and me and Campbell are just like as basic as it comes, so... That's also why we're not going to get too much money. Also, after we both applied for these scholarships through Mississippi State, we're applying to even get the scholarships. Like, we're not automatically going to receive money in our applications or to see how much money we'll get. We're applying to even see if we get any amount or nothing. 
the crazy part is a bunch of the scholarships that we're applying to right now in the fall time and in like September, November, we won't know until the spring around like April or even May that if we get these scholarships or what not. So it's a really long process to wait and see, especially money wise. If we're trying to save up, we really don't know how much we're going to need just for that freshman year. Yeah, and some people are super blessed and get really lucky winning a bunch of scholarships and then also getting scholarships through their school for either sports or academic reasons. I have seen people online who like encourage people to apply for scholarships because they have made anywhere from like $60,000 to this one girl won $800,000, which is absolutely insane. Yeah, that's really true because in personal finance right now, this we just learned a lesson on scholarships and whatnot to always apply for them. And the lady that ran it, she said that she got her entire college paid for her like grad school and she still had money left over just because of all the scholarships she applied to. Well, thanks for listening to us talk about scholarships and just say a prayer that we win a lot of money to pay for our college. Yes. Come back next episode to hear about the different locations of the colleges we're interested in and to see the differences in those. Yeah.